bit bigger than I normally do. I will put pictures of what how I normally do do them, but um this is the hair I use. I use um uh, free Tris Jamaican twist braids. You can really use any type of Marley hair you can find or you have. To do this whole to do them this size, you need about four to five packs depending on how big your head is and to do them smaller you will need six to seven um reason why i say six to seven is because they're going to be smaller they are smaller than this and i again like i said i'll show you pictures of how my hair looked when i did them smaller version so this is how the hair looks looks oh i got one b i got one i said one b but it's one to let everybody know you take it off the hook now the size i have them are about bra strength bra, bra strap length so yeah it's about that length um that's how i normally actually have them all the time are bra strap length um, you can leave them longer if you want. If you leave them longer, double the number I told you how to do. How to do these. You do not want to them to be long. You want them about my size, like I have them. My um length, like I have them. Bra gently. You're going to do what I'm about to show you. So you take it out the package. You take off the rubber band or whatever other stuff they have and then you just cut them in half like so so you cut them in half so you get a rough beat in like here and then you get you have your small little tanner ends down there and you use three strands to do them but I will show you in another cut of how to do the break closer and turn the camera up a bit more. Hopefully, it's so difficult doing this. Hopefully, you guys can see this. So I braid. down like so and then so as you see like it's not on my edges or anything none of the braids are really on my edges except for probably like my temple too but these four are not and once I get it you know I have a good grip on it I kind of switch comfortably braiding. And this hair does like tangles while you're braiding, just like what it would do if you're twisting. little extra hair that doesn't need to be there and then uh, I'm kind of hitting the ends of this hair of this um one so I am just going to stop but I'm going to cut this piece off I don't want to cut this piece off because that may be actually my hair because my hair is a bit long up front I know my hair's not that long right there. So cut that piece off. Alright, so now I'm gonna go boil my hair and I'll be back. Okay, I know in the last clip I say boiling my hair, but I meant was to dip my hair in some hot boiling water. But just in case somebody thought I was like, oh she's gonna boil her hair. No. So this is how it looks one side after being dipped. 
I like my ends to look weird. I'm not a person about neatness or anything like that with their ends when it's like this type of stuff. I'm just not. So what I'm gonna do is take some foam or mousse. I mean mousse, actually not foam, but mousse. And I'm going to mousse all this down in place. Put a little bit more for the ends. So this is how one side looks. And now I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my hair to run through my scalp. Even though I oiled my scalp while I did this, I want a bit more because you know i've been doing this for some hours and my scalp can get a little bit dry and then i'm just putting I'm pushing it into the weave so i can get into my hair for sake of youtube i am going to put some edge control treatment on my edges first before i put any edge control actually on my hair and the reason why I put some edge control treatment on is because I like my edges. I love my edges, you guys. I like my edges to stay, be alive, flowing, and be happy. So I take care of them. Yeah, just so y'all know. And then I am going to put actual edge control now on my edge, on my edges. I'm not going to put a lot because I don't like a lot. And it won't get off my finger. I am going to go back in in a minute with a brush. To make sure they slick a little bit better. And with the finger. Alright. Now I'm going to grab a brush. Something failed. Something always falls in my video, actually, to be honest. If you've been watching me since I started YouTube, you know something always falling in my background. Alright, so... <laughs> but so this is really it you guys these are the bigger versions that I wanted so I pulled back a bit so you guys can see them a bit better so these are bigger than normally I would do I would do them smaller but I just don't have time to do smaller version and I feel like doing the smaller version so this is how it looks And then I'll show you the back. The best way I can, actually. Alright. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.